Hello friends we are starting entirely a new series now and this is everything to do with cataracts and i'm going to title this series as understanding cataract a complete guide i'm going to approach this series in an entirely new format so what is really different in this series is the way i'm tackling different topics of cataract in an entirely different format recently i was interviewed by aparna ganesh she is a very famous youtuber and the interview was all the questions related to cataract so it was a very interesting interview and a very interesting interaction and in the next few series this is what you will be able to see but i'm going to support this interaction with her with an added explanation on every question in more depth so in this series you will see some parts of my interaction with her and some parts my solo interaction with you of course the aim of this series is to make sure that the understanding of cataract is crystal clear to you whether we like it or not cataract is one of the most prevalent eye diseases in the world and the beauty is it is curable shortly in this episode you will learn about more statistics of cataract in india So let's get started with this most exciting series on cataract which is a subject most dear to my heart. Hello friends I'm Dr. Kumar doctor from Dr. Rao Institute. Welcome to this channel of eye logs. It's everything to do with eye care and vision. If you already not subscribed to my channel make sure you do so and please press the bell icon so that next time I come out with a more interesting video you get a notification so before I start this new series on cataract I'm going to give you some statistics and this numbers will actually blow your mind out because this is reality and this is the statistics of prevalence of this disease that is there in India the good news here is that this is entirely curable so as of 2020 in india in the age group above 50 there are approximately 7.63 million people who develop cataract the cataract surgical rate csr and that's actually the number of cataract operations per year per population in million is known to have increased for 24000 per million in 2001 to 27000 per million in 2020 in the age group above 50 though the prevalence of cataract blindness has decreased the absolute number of cataract has increased from 7.75 million in 2001 to 8.25 million in 2020 which is actually a substantial increase in the population above the age of 50 which have actually developed cataract the idea behind giving this numbers is not really to scare you but to tell you what is the real prevalence of this curable disease in india with new advancement in technology new surgical methods early detection we have excellent end results and patient satisfaction in this disease so this sounds interesting right so now let me take you to my interview with aparna ganesh hi this is yet another interesting episode on eye logs today we are going to talk about cataract i will try to get more details out of doctor about mr pine cataract doctor how do you really explain cataract what is it actually It's a very, very important question that you asked about cataract because this is the most prevalent disease in the eye, which can be cured, and it has excellent results in today's science. So, cataract basically means there is a lens inside the eye when it becomes opaque, okay, or cloudy, and you see a little hazy. It's called a cataract. It's also called a moti bindu in Hindi, okay, moti abin, <laughs> and it's actually come from the terminology. cataract it's actually a latin word which was invented many 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 years back all right so you heard me telling you what really is a cataract now let me show you this with a eye model let me explain how actually a cataract is in this cross section of the eye so the front part of the eye is the cornea this transparent structure is the lens and this is actually the retina and this is the nerve which sends the message to the brain now when this transparent structure actually becomes opaque it is called 
as a cataract. And when this lens becomes opaque, like how a patient cannot see outside, we cannot see inside. So when the light enters the eye through the transparent front part, the cornea, and hits an opaque lens, which is the cataract, it actually disperses in the eye. And that's the reason why some patients see glare and halos and cannot have clear vision outside the eye. One interesting trivia I mentioned was about the word cataract. How did this word actually origin? It's actually from a Latin word called catracta. It means waterfall. You'll be surprised friends. I had gone to Niagara Falls. I don't know how many of you have been to Niagara Falls. And I've been to the American side and the Canadian side. And if you go down in the tunnel, you'll actually see a board on which it is mentioned as cataract. And if you look through the tunnel, what you're actually seeing is a waterfall. And that gives an impression of white vision. And that is what a patient who develops a mature cataract will actually see white or cloudy. And that's the explanation of this word called cataract. So many of my patients tell me that I do not want to visit an eye doctor. And how will I know that I've developed a cataract? So let's get into a discussion on symptoms of cataract. Symptoms basically means what you feel and signs basically means what the doctor tells you after an examination. So that's the interpretation of the doctor. So here's what I was asked in my interview with Aparna on symptoms of cataract. Uh, can you tell us how does somebody know if they have cataract? And so I get this asked question very often by my patients that I don't want to visit eye doctor, I want to go at home whether I have a cataract or not. It's quite simple, you sit at six feet away from the television, wear your glasses, see with the right eye, see with the left eye, you see the TV well. After three months you check again and with the right eye you're not able to see what you could see three months back and if your number has changed, so if your number keeps changing, your vision gets blurry, most likely that you have some disease in the eye and most likely it could be a cataract. So besides these three symptoms, which were mentioned in the interview. There are other symptoms too. Colors look faded. Lamps, sunlight and headlights may seem too bright. Another most common symptom is halos. So they will see ring circles around light sources which are different colors. Sometimes there's a complaint of diplopia, means double vision. Although these symptoms may also indicate some other eye problem, it's best to visit your ophthalmologist to make sure what actually you're suffering from. So one point I want to stress on before I wrap up this episode, that if you ignore a cataract, what's going to really happen? It slowly increases, it gets hard, and the harder the cataract gets, is difficult to operate. So a timely intervention in today's technology and advancement in science leads to excellent results and better patient satisfaction. So please remember to get your eyes checked and if you have a cataract and if it is convenient, please go ahead and do the surgery and do not wait for it to mature. So friends, this comes to the end of this first episode of my interesting series of cataract. And this episode, I've covered only two topics. One is, what is a cataract? And two, what are the symptoms of cataract? In part two, I'm going to discuss the causes of cataract, the diagnosis of cataract, and the risk factors. So stay tuned.